everybody, welcome back. I've got a little surprise to share with you guys. I was surprised uh, when the postman delivered me another journal entry. So uh, unfortunately this one, you know, came after the drawing. But um, this one comes all the way from California. This is Kimberly Wolfert. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you will recognize um, the name because she's very active within our junk journal um, Facebook groups. So um, thank you so much, Kimberly. Um, I, she knew that it, it was not going to arrive um, probably in time, but unfortunately, I wish it would have, but it didn't. But I am grateful all the same um, for her taking the time to share this. So it arrived here, and let me just turn this over. She was so generous to send me some napkins. I think she's heard me moaning on and on and on about napkins. <laughs> So, Kimberly, thank you. Aren't these absolutely beautiful? I love the roses on that. And the butterflies, of course, in this. And then look at this. Um, some extra beautiful little things. She knows I love those bees. And isn't that a beautiful saying from Emily Dickinson? Absolutely gorgeous. Ah, oh, love it, love it, love it. That is a gorgeous um, little, little index card. And this is beautiful. So this is a little pocket that she's made, and these, um, there was so much, I'll, I'll share, look at, well let me just show you these before I go into my story. <laughs> Everything's a story. Our, oh, I love that image. Just beautiful. And then she's got another little tag here. Beautiful. This is totally me, because I love the nature. And this tucks in the back here. I love this little idea with like a little double pocket. Oh, sorry, I'll sit that over. I'll put that together and look at that. This has all been embossed and then she's fussy cut and layered. And the back of that is just beautiful. So let me explain to you. She's given me a little note here. And um, She sent her business card, and she's um, very creative, but she's also a um, psychologist. So the note that she's written this on is vintage paper, and isn't that fabulous? And she, I really, Kimberly, it meant so much because she took the time um, to tell me a bit about herself and the thought process behind what she created for me and it's just so special and you know I'm going to keep that from between Kimberly and myself because um, there was a lot of personal things you know that she's picked up on um, along the way I guess you you know you try not to tell too much about your your personal life but at the same time you know you have to be open in order to connect with people and she's obviously picked up on things and it just meant so much to me that she had actually re retained all of that and um, so behind this she wanted to present something very calm because she knew in past experiences you know I've gotten really anxious over things that I've participated in and um, she totally was able to put that into a journal page and that came across beautifully Kimberly it really really did I mean the watercolor it's just stunning it it does as soon as you look at it you feel peaceful and calm so it's just amazing how she was able to put that over into this and look at these now this has come from her garden and that means a lot to me as well because I think it's just having a little bit of, you know, you feel a little bit more connected um, when somebody takes the time to do that. And I love this. Um, I, I absolutely love Philosophy's Amazing Grace. It's got the little um, definition. I just, it's just beautiful. And she's back these with tea dyed paper as well. And beautiful, beautiful trims. I love it. So that is the front. And then, of course, this, the page has got 
another thing, uh, another layer, um, and then the pocket there. So it's a really nice weight. And uh, I haven't completed all the journals, so it's perfect. It'll, you know, I can still work it in. <coughs> in fact, I'll be honest, I haven't done any more since what you guys have seen. I've got the four done. I've got six left to go, but, you know, I'm just going to take my time with it, guys. I, I, there's too much to, uh, to worry about. I love this tag. As she's decoupaged that, and then she's come back and layered um, music sheet, and then I love the sayings. Isn't that beautiful? Very positive. Um, I just, I love it. Yeah, she's, a lot of thoughts went into this, and it shows, Kimberly, definitely. So over here, look at these. Isn't that just beautiful? I love the watercolor. Just so pretty. So this is a pocket here, and then she's attached an eyelet. Look at the little charm. Isn't that sweet? And then this also... Just beautiful, beautiful images. This look flips over so I can do some journaling there and look at those. Just beautiful images. Look at the little bunny on that one. These are fabulous. Whoops. Sorry, that's it. Let me get those put back so I know where everything went. Just beautiful pages. I love this. Yeah, I wish I could watercolor. I really do. I must get around and play. Oh, here, listen to me. As if I've got time. I always think I can do more than I can. And then she wrote me a, a beautiful little note behind here. With her name. And uh, where she's from. So that's really nice. And then this is beautiful. And I love this, how she's done that um, guest check. So it's a little tuck spot there. And then this is pretty. She's tea dyed that as well. Some really great ideas in here. Beautiful image there. Love, love, love it. Kimberly, thank you so very much. These are beautiful. And once I get everything together, I, I'm going to add these in as well because, as I said, I'm trying to keep up. And the note, this beautiful letter she wrote, I will have all of that in the same journal so I can go back down the road and look at all of these. And the napkins will definitely be used along with that gorgeous trim. Look at that. That's got some blues and purples in it. Just beautiful. Thank you, Kimberly, so much. <coughs> I really do appreciate you taking the time to do that for me. And um, it's just beautiful. Okay, guys, that's, that's what I wanted to share with you today. And uh, it's a beautiful sunny day here. I think it's time to get out and uh, be outside. Yesterday was very cold, gray, and I just, I didn't even go out of the house yesterday. Um, so today I think I'm going to take, we, you know, we can go out for some exercise. So I'm going to take Daisy nearby for a little walk. She enjoys it. So that's, that's what I'm going to plan today. And then I'm baking. Um, I'll probably post on, uh, if, it, if it comes out, I'll post on Instagram. Today I'm going to do an asparagus tart and asparagus soup. So that's a recipe I've just come across. I've made asparagus tarts in the past, but um, this is a slightly different recipe. I'm curious to see if it's as nice as my original, but I will post some pictures on Instagram of that if you are interested. So that's what I'm going to be up to today. Some baking, get outside. We're going to work in the garden a little bit. I've got more plant seedlings that are ready to go out now because I think the danger of frost is past. So I think I'm going to get everything else out today. And then, yeah, I'm going to start sharing some pictures as the garden's filling in as well. So I'm excited about that. But I hope everybody is staying safe. I hope you guys are all keeping your spirits up. Um, 
you know, through finding some hobbies or, you know, whatever it is you, you, that you, gives you pleasure, um, you know, it's just a uh, difficult time for everybody, but uh, luckily, oh, I'm so grateful that we've got this community because this is, this has helped tremendously coming on and uh, following some of my favorite ladies and seeing what they're up to. So you guys have a great rest of the day and I will be back very soon. Bye!